Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to, to learn more tools about modeling the geometry. So just go ahead. I already prepared a new project, so I just created. Now I'm going to model very quickly that uh, room. So I just drag it to the project. Okay, so in that case, uh, we can see we have a column here and we have this door, which is open, actually. And what we could do, like always, is to create a cube around here and then create this column as a new cube. But we have another tool for that. We have the extruded polygon. So what allows us the extruded polygon is to draw a polygon on the ground, as you can see in the icon. And once we close it on the ground, the last point would uh, give us the height of the polygon. So in that case, uh, we should make, we just make it. Okay, so we select the tool. We make sure that the first point, as it will be the closing one, we, we have a good view of the height, so we can start from here, for example. So I just make the first click. Now, this click, it's not very visible, but that doesn't really care right now, because we can even make it here. We just close. Now we have our polygon closed, as, and as I tell you before, the last point as shown in the icon is the height. So we just click here, and it is projected correctly. And what happens with this point right here that we did not have it very visible, as we have seen in other in other videos, we can use the the edge that is making the polygon in order to adjust more to the correct point. Okay, so here we have another issue, which is that the panel is not really, really straight. But that we, we will see in another video using that tool, which is only for Mac right now, but we're going to see it. So we have made this, this extruded polygon, which is a very useful tool sometimes, because as I always tell you the same, you, you need to simplify as much as possible the model. Okay, now we have a hole here, which we should model. So just go ahead and remove that polygon here. We add a new line we project it to its place, we can duplicate the line and we drag it to its place again and now we can make the real polygon which have the hole Okay, this is something that we should avoid. This is this would make a crack. So we need to adjust it here. Or we could just remove the ground and make a new polygon taking in care those two new points. So we would avoid completely the problem. We check that triangulation is correct, which is in that case. So now we won't have any problem by dragging that. And now uh, we need to make something more, which would be that door. Also, we could have made the depth of the door 
which would be quite easy let me make it again now what will happen when I try to remove that it will say hey you cannot remove that because there is geometry depending on that point so just let me go a little bit before and we remove everything and now I could make a cube here as I see that point that point and that point I make one two and three not on starting from here would make me one two and the third it's not visible so that would make a, a non correct point so we make the height we delete those also that one on the ground now we can adjust a little bit and now we can proceed as we did before just by closing the polygon here that one not that one okay so we check triangulation looks nice here we seems to have a problem no because that one project in that place so we should move it more here and now we just have the door and the ground of course so please just make the ground first add polygon we can go this way Okay. Check triangulations, looks nice. And now we're going to make the door. So, to make the door, the best is also to make a cube. Now we have this vertical guide. So, I'm gonna hide both vertical guides and model. And now I have a clear vision in order to make the cube which will represent the door now I can just show it again and we could make a preview yeah we have the hole because we did not model that pressing a space you can toggle to dollhouse view so that should help you also to check if everything looks proper and now when we come back here we just check that geometry fits really good okay so in this lesson we have learned how to use the extruded polygon which is a very useful tool in order to avoid uh, quite a lot of geometry because it in that case we should have done two cubes and we can just make it uh, with a simple extruded polygon we have also learned how to make uh, the holes of the doors and just learn it that we can simplify a door with a with a cube okay so i will leave you this image as an asset in order to download so you can practice with that Thank you and see you in the next lesson. Bye.